Hi, Glenn Jaffe here from Primitive for the next edition of One Great Thing. I'm standing here in the fourth floor exhibition space at the store, surrounded by some of the wackiest, most provocative, most far out pieces of art that I've ever encountered in my career. Ghanaian movie posters. Consider this. In the late 1980s and through the 1990s, they're developed in Ghana, in West Africa, a cottage industry. Some have called it the mobile cinema. It was composed of entrepreneurs who had three tools. They had a television, a video cassette recorder, and a gas power generator. Armed with these tools, their own wit, their own imagination, and a true entrepreneurial spirit, they went out and they set up ramshackle theaters where they showed movies and they charged admission. The movies, of course, being shown on the television and the video cassette recorder. The movies they showed were Bollywood movies from India, movies from the Hong Kong film industry, which are Kung Fu movies. They showed Hollywood B, C, D, and E horror, action, and sci-fi movies with, of course, the occasional hit thrown in. And they showed movies from the Ghanaian and Nigerian film industries, which are called Nollywood movies. So to sell tickets and to announce their presence, they commissioned posters to be made. And the posters were painted in oil and acrylic paint on opened up flower sacks. The artists who created these images had enormous artistic license. Their job, after all, was to sell tickets. And to do that, they oftentimes created very, very provocative posters. Sometimes they simply copied studio art in the form of other posters that they had seen or the cassette jackets. But oftentimes they created images which had nothing whatsoever to do with the movie being promoted. It was, again, to sell tickets. The reason that they used opened up flower sacks, frankly, was the only canvas available to them. These were ingenious people. Take a look at this image of Zorro. Zorro spelled wrong. And you can see for yourself what I mean by the canvas they used. I can't think of a better use of a sack that used to hold 50 kilograms of flour. Let's take a look at some of the more wild images. How can a person explain the appeal of these posters? I think the answer is because they're wildly successful is both advertising and art. Each and every time they seem to suck us into this imaginary surreal world that oftentimes has nothing whatsoever to the film being advertised. They always seem to win the war of engagement. Today, these posters have disappeared from the Ghanaian landscape. The magic words in this business have always been ending or ended. Pockets of cultural material get discovered, a market develops, and the market ultimately cleans out the authentic material. The posters represent a very brief moment in time where art, ingenuity, and advertising met in the crosshairs of history, and then they disappeared. I'm pleased to announce that the Chicago Cultural Center, the nation's first free art showcase, located at Michigan Avenue and Washington Streets in downtown Chicago, has mounted a major exhibition of Primitive's collection, which will run from April 29th through September 4th of this year. We hope you'll take the time to visit the collection over there, and of course, here at the store. Till next time, this is Glenn Joppe for One Great Thing.